Hi guys, so what you see me first doing is dyeing the two front pieces. I wanted the two front pieces to be as blonde as the ends of the rest of the hair would be. And I used BW um, powder and 40 developer bleach on the front of the hair. And then I also did that with the tips or ends as some people call them to dye and I worked pretty fast when I did this and yeah So you see me preparing the foil. I forgot to do this little part, prepare the foils for the ends. But after I finish preparing the foil, I comb through the hair a bit and I start using the BW powder and the 40 developer to bleach the ends. I also did lose the clip of me bleaching the rest of the hair um, into a ashier blonde so that clip is gone but me to get to the ashy brown and making the ends a little bit more of an ashy blonde I used BW powder and a 20 developer and I, I washed the hair with purple shampoo Here's the clip of me washing the hair, and as you can see, the hair has the uh, honey blonde, ashy brown, and brown color I was going for. Uh, I used, again, the purple shampoo, Shimmer Light, and it helped take all the grassiness without you having to do the mixture of different toning, and I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to use purple shampoo. And I did it. I did shampoo this hair about two, three times, and that does help with the toning and taking the grassy out. So if you ever want to just not actually tone your hair when you're dyeing it blonde, and you just want to just use a shampoo, use the purple shampoo. It does do the toning, and it does take grassiness out.
right here is me wand curling the hair and as you can see while I'm wand curling the hair the hair has the coloring so I was telling you I wanted a more ashy blonde at the end light brown going into the hair and it looks beautiful you can see it throughout the hair and so that's really it guys I hope you guys like the video